All right, Mr. Dickon, I'm kind of just winging it here. I don't really know what I'm doing. But um, I also have a script over here that I'm going to be reading off of because I'm not really sure what I'm saying. So um, I'm going to be talking about something that kind of caught my eye when I was in Miss Angle's law class. And that topic is the bystander effect or bystander apathy, which is a social psychological claim that individuals are less likely to offer help to a victim when other people are present. Um, the greater number of bystanders, the less likely it is that one of them will help. This effect was discovered by the psychologist John Darley following the 1964 murder of Kitty Genovese in New York City. So Kitty was stabbed to death in New York City on the sidewalk in front of her apartment and according to press coverage, none of the neighbors reacted despite being fully aware of what was going on, which of course was not accurate. Um, some neighbors did call the police, however, it was difficult to kind of grasp what was going on in that situation. Um, the neighbors who did call the police, their response was kind of half-hearted. You know, they didn't really seem that concerned. Um, one neighbor was actually stopped from calling the police by his wife on the grounds that someone is bound to call the police. Um... Studies suggest that while 70% would help a woman in distress when they were the only witness, only about 40% offer, offered assistance when other people were present. It's also been suggested that what we choose to do is based on many factors, including fear and diffusion of responsibility. All of these studies raise an obvious question. How often do we stand by and do nothing when we know that we should do something? Are we allowing fear of judgment to compromise our morals? When no one else does anything, it's easy to feel like it's not necessary or even appropriate to take action. Emergency situations are often unclear or chaotic, and we tend to look at others to decide on the correct action or, in many cases, inaction. Um, bystanders are not just witnesses to the incident. They also include people who have heard that an incident occurred. Kind of like when people at school know that someone is getting bullied and don't do anything about it. Um, even if they didn't see the bullying take place, they still know that it's happening and they're compromising their morals for the fear of not wanting to be that person or the fear of tattletaling on somebody. Um, in the moment that these incidences are occurring, you may ask yourself, do I fight, flee, or freeze? Now, I know that not everyone can fight in these instances, but also we can't just flee or freeze. Call for help, report it, be the one that's willing to get someone help. The end.